Here we are live at the What's It Records set, back porch of the What's It house. Um, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, let us know where you're from, and get going on a song. Hey, I'm Crystal De La Rosa, and I'm from New Britain, Connecticut. <laughs> and uh, this song is called It's Getting Easier to Live. of myself sucking away all my essence all I can help all I can help is to hope that you've learned your lesson compromising my health all for your strict profession and what I belt and what I belt my brain is held in captivity Thank you. That's great stuff. That are are you have some, have some amazing singing power. Have you have you been trained at all in that, or is that just a passion of yours? Uh, no, I did a lot of choir in high school, like madrigals choir and chamber choir, and that's pretty much it. Oh, wow. wow! Big ups to the school system. Um, well, why don't you get going on another song? Okay. Um, once again, we're at the What's It studio with Crystal De La Rosa. I actually think I'm going to play a harmonium song, if that's okay. Is it okay? Yeah, okay. Sweet. How else do we move? How 
That was how else do we move. <laughs> I forgot to mention it earlier. Right on. So, so what is this instrument called? Uh, this is a harmonium. And, uh, yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Uh, it originally came from England, and uh, then they made it portable and brought it to India. And now it's mainly used for spiritual practices, and that's how I discovered it in a yoga class. And I fell in love with it, and I got it as a present for my birthday. And I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's a really cool looking instrument. I, I, um, it's awesome. So, uh, <laughs> moving forward, do you have uh, another song you want to get planned for us? Uh, yeah. Uh, this song is called uh, Black Hole. So what? I, I don't know how I'm how to describe your music. It's haunting and enchanting, and I, I could see its spiritual roots. Do you do you have a genre that you tell people you play, or a way to describe what you do? Uh, when somebody asks me what I play, I usually just say it's a mixture of uh, I mean, dark and dreamy. Basically, that's like the foundation. But then uh, it has its Middle Eastern influences and uh, classical and you know Spanishy. Uh, you know, whimsical type of things, <laughs> and that's what I usually say. It's hard to describe. <laughs> do, do you have any specific influences for your music or your lyrics? Um, I don't have any specific influences. I, uh, I mean, I get influenced by a lot of. Uh, I mean, like more like the genre, uh, like any genre uh, uh just everything that i've heard throughout my life you know and then psh, it combines into whatever i do but i uh really like other music like from you know outside of the u.s you know and a lot of old music like from uh you know like medieval uh renaissance and you know baroque period all that <laughs> and uh yeah i like you know middle eastern music and you know classical and um a lot of movie music I've been inspired by, for sure. I, 
and I can see that pouring through your style now. Now we're gonna we're gonna do one more song. Um, it, it's been a pleasure to have you, Crystal. I, I, I love the, <laughs> the, the the eclecticness of your style. I, um, Thank you. To have heard it. Um, do you have any final remarks before we we go into your last song? Anything you'd like to put out there? Any message that you stand by? Anything like that? Um, no, I just want to thank you guys for letting me do this tonight. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, uh, this is just going to be an improv, actually. Um, Crystal De La Rosa. Woo! Woo! Uh, yeah! <laughs>
I know, I need to get some. I have some in my car. Yes. <laughs>